If it's hard for you right now, I just explained to you on the last segment um, before we hung up. Um, my buddy Beck told me, he said, man, you're going down the righteous road. So right. that's why I'm so shaky. So don't give up. If I have to tell y'all guys something, man, don't give up. If I need to drop something on you, that's what EJ doing. He's going to drop them gems on you, you know, the yeah. jewels on you. I'm just going to tell you, man, don't give up, man. Um, write down. If Even if you don't write down, man, just, I guess, put it in your phone or something, man. Just know mm-hmm. what you want to do. And um, you you, you got to be serious with it. You got to you got to know you want this. Mm-hmm. You, you got to know like, okay, I'm going to play football. I'm going to I'm I'm going to go try and go to LSU. I know it's not going to be easy. I know I'm not going to be able to start right away. I know it, 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 some kind of money booster club gonna have where I'm not going to be able to play because some sorry person gonna be able to play before me. To play. Boost the money, right? You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Because of that. Right. Now, I, I know I'm better than you. I know I am. We know we are. We know. Mm-hmm. So you beat them at their game. I'm about to hit record right now. I'm going to do my little intro. All right. All right. Ooh, we in the gym. Fucking the EJ's gym. A guy to elevate your mindset. Man, I got a special guest on the line. I let him introduce himself because he was ready. He was ready. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, EJ. What the do? Hey, how y'all doing out here, man? Hey, this is your one and only D Bird, man. Bird game. God, KC. <laughs> Yeah, hey, the, le- the legendary D Bird. Y'all see the LSU? You see the LSU? He the original. He are you the original number two? Did you set it off? Well, oh man, it's so many uh, legendary number twos, man. I'm just saying, man, I just joined the list. This is a lot of number twos that was doing their thing, you know. Uh huh. So, uh-huh. On defense, shoot, they had a cornerback, um, the white number two cornerback. He's good, mm-hmm. picking everything. So, but this is before I even knew about LSU. I really researched all this hell. But mm-hmm. um, I'm here, man. Hey, um, I had a journey, and my journey, you know, it it, it ain't start where I could play football with you. You know, we went to school together. Mm-hmm. Um, 2000, what it was, 02 was my ninth grade. Yeah. yeah. You were okay. a knucklehead. Yeah. Well, I remember you, boy, a big <laughs> clown. You still a clown, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. Yeah. yeah. But we, we, we knew that, man. We used to tell you, man, you were so talented, man. We used to always tell you, man, all you, all you have to do is put it together. Put it together, and you did it. Yeah. Yeah, y'all did, man. Now I knew. I remember yep. Luke telling me that. Um, mm-hmm. to man, Marcus, 
Yep. Man, <laughs> he was he was mad at me one time about the track meet when uh when I didn't run the four by four with him. Yeah. He, he was gonna murder that thing. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man, I, I had a long trip, man. I went to Juke Juke Junior College because mm -hmm. I didn't play football until you know the end of my um eleventh grade year, mm -hmm. beginning of the twelfth grade year. That's when I came playing football for uh, Miami Central. Mm -hmm. I was running track. But when I was running track, most of it was just to stay in shape, to be active, because I know mm -hmm. I really wanted to play football, you know. Right. Um, and then uh, I kept being like, excuse my French, an asshole or whatever, mm -hmm. like, throughout the classroom. Mm -hmm. I probably never was, like, too disrespectful. You right. know, I'm not disrespectful, but I will play. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on your nerves. I'm, I'm Make you just say I'm, I'm um, aggravating or something like that when I really know I'm not. Yes, I remember, man. Gee, boy, he was a big clown, man. Nonstop. Nonstop, dude. We were like, man, like bouncing <laughs> off the wall, man. <laughs> like, like, what kind of shit I had, bro? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Hey, but I tell you, though, mm -hmm. man, that would make me stronger, man. That would make me, like, Never give up when um when I did ended up you know having to go to junior college because when I went to JUCO um mm -hmm. I had two options I had an option to go to University of Miami but mm -hmm. they were going to thirteen year school mm -hmm. and I was like oh no I just passed FCAT man I'm not I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going back to no more school man I'm good man I'm going to college time <laughs> so I asked the coach I was like go ahead man where's um PRCC. He was like, well, no, no, not Coach Hatton. There's another coach. Um, I forgot who it was, but somebody was recruiting me or whatever. Mm -hmm. He said, man, we got two options for you. Go to PRCC or you go to um, Dodge City in Kansas. I'm like, no, he said Dodge City or PRCC. I'm like, coach, where's on Dodge City? He say in Kansas. I say, man, you might well start calling PRCC right now because I'm not going to no Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh -huh. so, uh, so, so he called on PRCC and um, Coach Hatton, man. Yo, he's like a father figure to me, man. Um, mm -hmm. He really looked out to me, man. He, he made sure that, like, he knew I was away from home. Right. You know? so, his family made me feel comfortable, you know. Um, right. Miss Man, Miss Hattie used to make me sour cream pound cakes and um, yeah. His look, the little girl when I was in when I was there in, in college, the little girl is now married with a kid now. So um, that goes to show you, I still know the timeline. I still keep up with them and things of that nature because you know that man really looked out for me, took me under his wing. Um, why did I say all that? Because First, um, first time I get up there, we had a guy running around town. Oh, he the fastest dude on campus and all this stuff. Yeah, you know me. I play too you. much. Uh huh. I, I want to find out. I want gotcha. to. You talking? Show me. <laughs> right. So sorry. Right. I told me y'all on the um, back of the road. You know, you race. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I stopped because I almost pulled. Right. So I told him, I was like, okay, you got it. You got it. I'm gonna give you that one. So he walked around campus the whole time. Oh, the champs here, the champs here, making all that, you know, loud oh. noise, like, could he won or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. Man, hey, EJ, I tell you, man, the, the, the spring before he left, because he, he was a year ahead of me. Before he left, I said, man, let's run it back. Let's go out there on the, on, on, on the road back up. Man, EJ, <laughs> he might have jumped out on that boy, man. Man, they, I'm going to tell you, he ran a 4-2. Yeah, yeah. He ran a 4 -2. The only, the only real legitimate folk two guy I lost to was Michael Greco. He okay. played quarterback for Cardinal Gibbons. Mm -hmm. And then he, um, when he went to the NFL, he played um, cornerback or DB or something like that. Mm -hmm. When he gets a chance, look him up. Michael Greco, man. The kid right. is explosive, man. <laughs> he was my quarterback also. He, he came to Juco as the quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, four years, he was pretty good. I rolled my ankle. And then uh, one coach wanted to send me back to Miami, but you know, Coach Hatton was like, "No, let's keep him. This is a good player right here." So I went out there and I 
one guy ended up missing the spring game because he had to go to court. Man, why did he do that? <laughs> why did he do that? He, man, he did that. He did that. He didn't see that position no more. No more. He ain't done. No more. So done. Done did. I wrote when I rolled my ankle. The game that I rolled my ankle in, right? I broke the record. Um, the second, the second longest pass in um in college football history, or what in NCAA history, or NCJA. How they say that, John? Juco. You know how I go. Yeah, yeah. Juco. Um, it was eight nine yard. Um, and then for for that game, I ended up with two twelve or something like that, two twenty or something. You feel me? So. That's why the head coach was like, no, we got to keep him. But the other coach was like, no, we going to send him, and he got to go. Right. You know, he just takes the spot. Man, next game came, I went off, and, and, and the week came. I didn't sit out, put it like that, before I went off, before I jumped to that part. I went hard that week. I put tape on my ankle. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I was on so many drugs. I was like, man, I'm really <laughs> And like, I'm not going back to Miami because other coaches are like, man, you go back to Miami and throw mm. fish and, and make fish tacos. Okay. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm for real. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah. wow. So, it's so like, that, that Juco was a journey, huh? Man, that Juco was, yeah. It was a journey, mm-hmm. but that ain't it. Mm-hmm. That that ain't the ending part, you know. Because, mm-hmm. like, man, right now, um, if you look at it, um, if you look at it, man. I'm I'm just really blessed, and um, only thing that's really stopping me is myself because I'm being so stubborn. It's like I don't right. want to one thing because I I'm scared if I stop it, you know, the next thing may not be, you know, the yeah. best thing. For me. So, um, so I am. Um, I'm, I'm right now. I'm going through a change right now. Right. Um, in my head, I feel like the universe is shifting. It's mm. shifting into uh, into my favor right now. And um, all I have to do is just, you know, be humble. Um, man. Um, one one thing I can tell you, man. My my, my linebacker, um, teammate from LSU, and then he was also my teammate at San Diego Chargers. The year I went. Um, he um he told me say God he say Bert, you ever thought about it, man? You may be going through this because God is, he, he he's allowing you to go through this because you're going down the right path. This is the godly path, you know. Right. Take this path right here, and it's gonna show you nothing but righteousness. You're gonna see the big old you know light at the end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. So and, and and that day I started thinking, you know and. and and we, me and him, just had this conversation, you know, the other day, and 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 I just had a baby girl. And yeah, congratulations, know, man. Yeah. Exactly. Are you are you talking about Ali, man? No, not high school. Oh, he, okay. played, he played with him. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to find high school. Who know that high school back, man? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, mm-hmm. that's that's a whole another story. You know, mm-hmm. I got a girl now, so I know I have to, you know change the way I think, you know, um, mm-hmm. realize that the, the bigger picture is the little girl. Right. It's not right. me no more. It's the right. little girl. Um, once I, I, you know, once I, I already done gave it up. I already done said, man, I'm done, you know, uh, well, I'm making it seem like I was addicted or something. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, girl, no sort type, no nothing. I'm good. Um, it's just, um, just, just like um, the 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 injury. I'm gonna mm-hmm. explain to you guys. I'm playing me EJ. Mm-hmm. I jumped over this. Well, I didn't jump over it. It was just coming up because my story is real long, man. It's right. like a in our video. Okay. You know mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, so, so, so we um we moved. It. Okay, we go to LSU. We're at LSU right now, and uh, man, I'm not done working hard. I get there in August, you know, mm-hmm. I miss camp. Right. I get there in August, so I, I missed the spring. I, I I made some camp though. I missed spring, so um, I came here, man. I was I was man, I was doing my thing, EJ. You yeah. you are, you know, mm-hmm. just like just like my boy Dino was saying, man, he was yeah. out there he's doing the thing, you know, mm-hmm. but they 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 just wouldn't play. Yeah. 
uh, uh, so we go to Mississippi State, and um, and 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 some junk happened with um Brandon LaFell did something, and I'm on the sideline like, man, what? They even put me in? So I'm, uh, I'm hot. Mm-hmm. So mind you, when I get to LSU, the first one, two, three, four, five probably games I did not play. I played, but I only played in two minutes of it. Yeah, then, like at the end. Right yeah. At the end, when yeah. they just don't turn yeah. the ball. So, when the, 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 the following game came, it was Auburn. Mississippi State, I don't even gonna lie, it was a little bit B E I T C H. I went and, <laughs> I went and cried in the locker room because I was like, man, that's green. So, that's right. one time I cried. And that time I cried was the Auburn game. Uh-huh. The Auburn game is um, when I caught the game one. If it one second left, because the reason why I went in at halftime crying because I'm like, I'm like, man, yo, this man just actually caught the ball and threw it back, you know, caught it, and they went back on the interception, mm-hmm. and they came in the game. Man, they <laughs> put me in. I was hot. So we go in the halftime, and I'm talking to the walk on. <laughs> I don't lie to you. I was big with the walk on. Right, right, right. I understand where they come from. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, man. I got. I'm. Pri- I'm a little privileged, man. I got a scholarship. Right, you right. Know, you know, at they, LSU they, too. Exactly. They gonna dog you. They gonna dog you or whatever you gotta do. Whatever they say, do. So I, I, I feel you, bro. I, I'm like, only one dude I hated was the damn little coming back. That dude got on my nerves, man. <laughs> 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 he said, man, the man, the man wanted to be aggressive all the time. <laughs> man, I'm tired, man. I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> man, chill out. God. I mean, EJ, man, like, you know how it is when you got to stop blocking cornerback. Yeah. He want to run everywhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, man, no, but chill, man. All you got to do is stay up right there. I'm coming. Mm. You look <laughs> That's it, act, man. Mm-hmm. He wanted to do too much because mm-hmm. he's a walk on. I understood mm-hmm. now why he did that, but then I did. Mm-hmm. Now I understood. Like, you, 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 you can't want something and not get something back. Basically, with this, um, with, with the walk on, I want to be on, on this team. Right. I want to be on the team with LSU. So, right. what I'm going to do back, man, I'm going to show them how hard I'm going to practice. Man, I'm going to show them how, how, how for real I am. How how good I am, uh, how how serious I am about getting more um, talented or whatever, like those words. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but you know, um, ended up crying at halftime and um, come back out. He was still he was still playing, mm-hmm. and I'm still hot. Man, that thing no coach say bird. You in? What? <laughs> Against Auburn. <laughs> Against all, yes. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I had done my first TD was from um, Ryan Perlou. RP, he threw me along a deep ball against Middle Tennessee State. But even that game, I only played like two minutes of it, you know? Right, 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 right. But my first real action was Bird, you in. <laughs> what? Auburn. Oh, uh, Auburn, right. Man, I, I, I kid you not, E. Two plays in the drive. Guess what happened? What happened? Gerard Powers felt man enough to stick me and, and play press, right? Mind you, no team in NCAA know about Bird. Right, they don't know so you at all. Bird, no film. Exactly, Bird ain't do nothing, you know? Bam! Bond is at 62 yards. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this, this, yes, indeed. This oh, yeah. Down. It was on from then. Man, yes, indeed. When I, hey, when I gave it to him, it's, it's on a little highlight reel or whatever on the thing. When I bonged him, yeah. it was like a whole nother, man, it was like a, a cake came on my back. Like, it's not. <laughs> It's time. Oh, oh, my wings started. What was the celebration? Oh, was it this yet? Was it this it, yet? It was, can't see me, man. Can't see me. Can't hey, see me. I did that after 
after I was getting to it, sorry, I'll take a long time to get to my points because uh. I parted. But final drive, dude, still playing me man to man. Right. One on one. Um, E, I ran a go on purpose. Okay, it's just me and him. The safety ain't rolling no. That's why I did that. Mm-hmm. Next play, did it again. Mm-hmm. Safety paid no mind. Yeah. I'm walking back to the huddle, boy. I'm, I'm pointing up to the press box. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. So I get back to the huddle. I'm not thinking. Man, Coach Croton done seen that. He, he, he noticed me or somebody on the side of him told him. Yeah. Man, I get to the other say, you know, uh 144 go. What? <laughs> hey, I'm like, you can even see it on, on the little highlight thing when they showed on the little SB thing. Yeah. You can see how I came out the hood. I'm like, You like this? You did this? Yeah. <laughs> 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 he really called it and still I wasn't thinking I was going to get the ball because mm-hmm. mind you this is my first game all out playing game and then we got an all American receiver on the other side early to set mm-hmm. you know and yeah. then we got a senior and, and then Matt Flynn was a senior so right. just a junior new to the team like hey I'm not thinking he's going to throw me the ball so I came off the line like, oh, okay, whatever. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I was like, oh! Damn, I stuck my hand out between his hands. Because yeah. he wanted to attention, so I just stuck my hand out around him. Yeah. I grabbed it. He put his hand in on mine like this. Right. I say, I'm going to break it. That's that's that's, that's <laughs> fast I was that's it. Thinking. Right, that's right. Fast, you know, being an athlete, period. Being anybody, you have to think quick like that. Yep, well, yep. Yeah, being an athlete, being a football player. If you if you want to, you want to be known as someone that's going to do his thing and and handle his business. You have to think yep. when ain't nobody else thinking. Right. See, like Gerard Powell's one thing, and oh, Bird going to put his hand right here, and then once he get the ball in there, and oh my my arm just in there, he going he gonna let me snatch it out. Hell no, I'm gonna break your shit. Yeah. <laughs> come I'm with break. me. Yeah, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> LSU, if they hurry, has time for one more play before a, a cold David field goal, but it doesn't look like they're even gonna try to run one. Or maybe they're gonna burn their light now. Now Flynn is out there. Johnson is hurrying in there, and he's just now getting to the line. Play clock is down to eight. Split back formation, receivers on both sides. Flynn drops to throw, does throw towards Demetrius Bird. He is interfered. You can hear me? Yeah. All right, we good. good. All right, yeah, yeah. We 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 was talking about the Auburn, the catch, and the arm. Yeah. And his arm, you know what I'm saying? What you was doing. Yeah. Okay. And um, so sorry for the the interruption, man. I, um Ryan Perry was calling me, so that's mm-hmm. what that was. But I was sticking arm out and I was like, man, I'm gonna break it because I want this ball. Mm-hmm. You know, um, as an athlete, as a as a young man, he should know that you're gonna have to be equipped with these kind of you know tools mm-hmm. because these are the kind of that that these coaches love to see. If you have that in your in your in, in your back in your backpack, if you have that type of talent in your backpack, man, you don't know you know how far you can go. You know how many scholarships you get. 
all because you are hungry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I, I just wanted to catch the ball and I, I just wanted to make plays. You know, I told you I was crying. Yeah, so, right. right. I, 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 I was and um and I made that play and then man, rest is history, man. I, I, I had to get up and man, I can't see my dang on self. You know? No, yeah, you fro so, you like frozen right now. Oh for real? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Yeah, you was telling them about like what you have in your backpack, like in your arsenal as an athlete and what coaches like. Yeah, if you have that arsenal in your backpack as an athlete as as having that, that mind where you think as 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 you making the play, like my um LSU coach used to tell me, map. You know, yeah, you like map. Coach, what is map? Make a play. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. okay, well, okay. map then, map. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I, I I stood by. You know, all the years I was at LSU, um, we went on to um, win the national championship. Mm-hmm. Because um, I had that um that man, I, I want to play. Right. I don't care about the crowd. I don't, I don't care about being seen. Right. Now I, I want to play. I just want to play football. I'm, I'm I'm like like Dino said, man. I'm not here for no class. Right. I'm not here. None of that. Man. Like, I'm here to play some football. Right. I, that's my job. Like. You know, even after football, you know, after all football over it, you don't know what to do. Right. My job was football. I'm a football player. Okay, y'all trying to throw this student athlete thing in. Okay, we understand that. We, we understand that. This just to make y'all happy. Right. But y'all don't care about us. Y'all, you just want y'all happy. And that, I, you know, in the school system, these days it's like snakes eat snakes. Mm. Mm. You know, rats eat rats. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um and and, and it's, it's it's belittling to me. I, I don't like it. it. But what can I do? Right. I can't do something about it but keep on going. But what can I well actually I can do something about it. I can teach the young. Yeah. Man, don't die on the got dog on school system because mm-hmm. they just gonna feed you to whatever you, you to what they think you need. They gonna feed that to you, mm-hmm. you know. Like, okay, I give you a prime example, man. Look, little, little Charlie outside, right? Mm-hmm. Little Charlie outside playing the football, throwing the football or whatever like this. All right, he comes, he comes to me. He's like, hey, Coach Bird. I want to be trained because, you know, I seen you play at LSU and I know you got all the tools or whatever. You, you know what we may need. All right. I say, okay. Yeah, I'm going to train. All right. You know, I'm training him. Then I, I, I try and go to, you know, LSU and, 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 and I'm telling them, I'm like, yo, I'm training this safety. He'll be a good addition to the team before they all shut me down. Mm-hmm. So then, right then and right there, made me realize, like, man, it's all about what you did for them when you were there. Yes. They don't think you have two shits about you now. Yes. Certain people in that organization, in that program, they love me over there still. Mm-hmm. But some of them hate me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so, so, so I, I tell the kids, man, you gotta, you gotta equip yourself. You got if if I'm here training you, if you here paying a, a, a personal trainer or whatever, don't think that's it. Don't think after you have done training with me, because all I'm training you is for an hour and two minutes. That's all I'm giving you. <laughs> hour and two minutes. <laughs> two, two minutes. <laughs> an hour and two minutes. <laughs> you know I said two, right? Why? An hour. The hour, one hour is for my jersey number in high school. Right. Two minutes for the two minutes in college. That two minute, dunk, that jersey number two. I got you, got you, got you. <laughs> Only to train you for an hour and two minutes. Hey, you, you wore that number one at Central too? Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know I had to, I had to uh, ask Newt. I asked Newt. I like the Newt, man. I wrote, I wrote that one. He's like, yeah, man, go ahead, man. Okay. You have a lot of markers on your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lil Marcus! Oh, Lil Marcus wanted to wear one. Who you said? No, I'm talking about um, Nuke. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, I, yeah. 
Ooh, can I get number one? Uh-huh. Noob said, yeah, man, you're going to have a lot of targets on your back. Go ahead, oh, man. Oh, targets. Oh, targets. 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 Got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. uh, what four pirates on? You were uh, talking about the, the LSU and, and people loving you and some not loving you and just telling athletes the truth because that's real. Like, because when, when you're on the field, they making money off you. When you're done, you see the truth. Yeah, you, you see it. You see it. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, I know it's, it's, it's what, like, what, 10, 15 years after, but, 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 but still, still, mm-hmm. I made you almost $550 million in one, on one game, on one game, the national championship game. Yeah. The reason why I say I, because I was on the team, because it takes a, a, a team. Mm-hmm. To win, and and we all won. We was a team. We won. So right. that's why I say hi. I'm not trying to, you know, be uh, cocky or nothing like that. Not trying to, you know, show love to teammates or show love to the coach staff. No, but I know what I possess. Right. I, I was a playmaker. I know I gave my heart, my blood, sweat, and tears to this football program. To this, right. all y'all. No, no, no. Hey, and I hate said, but y'all, y'all, y'all was popping right then. Mm-hmm. Y'all made sure my head was on straight, man. I mean, I didn't fall to the streets. You know, that's because I had these white people in my back pushing me. Right. I had those white people pushing me. But nowadays, you got you, you got everybody, you know, hating the fact that you know the the the, the I'm not getting. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's your choice. You let me know, man. Like I said, I could chop and edit. I can chop and edit. You can speak. And you just, I mean, whatever's on your heart, whatever you want to talk about, man. Because the whole thing is, man, the kids need to hear the truth because they see everything from the TV. Right. And they don't know what everything, what's happening behind the scenes. Right, right. Mm-hmm. That's just like now, you know, everybody, everybody watching. You know, you well, yeah, you in Miami? You, no, I'm in uh, North Carolina right now. So I'm yeah, around no. Clemson and all that. They just lost. So you know, Ohio <laughs> State and, and uh, Alabama, everybody on that right now. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but uh, my thing is like, oh, damn, I forgot what I was gonna ask. What was that? I forget. I lost my my point. Um, but let me let me let me let me go back to you know. Uh, Post college. Mm-hmm. What was that? Yeah, your transition after college. What was that like for you? Because I know you had a situation, and you can tell everybody about it if you want to talk about what happened. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that's what I want to get deep down into because that that really shows God work right mm-hmm. there. That's yeah, that, that's like some some serious stuff. That mm-hmm. anyway, um, as I just shared, you know, with y'all about my junior year. All that stuff was just in my junior season. Mm-hmm. I made a big splash my junior season. Hey, I didn't play until like the fourth, fifth game, right? Still ended up leading the team in, 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 in touchdown. I had seven, you know. Um, I wasn't there with the yards. I had uh, 700, I think, something like that. But I still did my thing. I did my thing. My thug doesn't put on <laughs> four. You know what I'm saying? Right. Four games. Um, man, I, I I I went to the um, combine. Um, before going to the combine, uh, we played Georgia Tech in the Peach Bowl, and um, man, we was killing them or whatever, doing our thing. Coach Miles called up that middle screen in the fourth quarter. Bird being Bird, I want to make a play. Shoot, uh, <laughs> I run the middle screen, damn D lineman came straight from my leg. Woo! Took me out. Uh, Spring on uh, MCL. Oh, man. Spring on MCL, right? Mm-hmm. So this was in December of um, two, 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 2008 or 2009. 2008. Yeah, 2008. <clears throat> yeah, because I dropped it in um, April. 2009. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so when it happened, I had to go train for the um, the Senior Bowl. 
I, I got selected for the senior bowl. Um, I got selected to go to the combine. Okay. Um, I got selected to do all that good stuff. Um, but I, because I was injured, my knee was at like 75%, you know, ready. I did not play in the senior bowl. I didn't mm-hmm. even go to the senior bowl. I was mad that I missed it because I had a whole bag that was waiting on me, you know? <laughs> 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 I ain't even gonna get it. I'm hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They just ain't get to me or nothing. So after that happened, it was man, it was like seven days before the NFL draft. Uh I had just came back, you know, from visiting. I, I think it was St. Louis Rams or Tennessee Titans. It was one of those two um organizations. I just had left. Um then um then 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 I, I wanted to go play football. Then my homie, I took my homie to the club. We went to Club Dream. Mm-hmm. Uh, had champagne or whatever. Then I was on the way home. When to take him home, he said I was fine. One wasn't nothing wrong. I stopped at McDonald's and everything. Mm-hmm. Everything fine. I guess the, the accident happened because I was in the car A by myself. And the tire blew out. So when the tire blew out, I lost control and it hit a pole. Oh man. And it was just you in there by yourself? Yeah. Mm. Well, I was so glad I was because if it was him, it was it was dead. Yeah, his body wouldn't have been, yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So but uh um I ended up having uh to be in a coma um, for seven days. Um, wow. The last day that I woke up, I woke up being a San Diego Charger. Uh, San Diego Charger drafted me in the seventh round. They gave me the opportunity to just live my dream. You know, I didn't get to play. Only reason I didn't get to play because my head didn't, you know, I didn't heal up quick enough for them. Even now, I still have drop foot and uh, I'm I'm still working on it. Because in 2014, mm-hmm. I started stressing out like, dang man, I just want to play football. That's it. I, I, I listened to the story, man, uh, of Dennis Brown, which was my high school quarterback. Right. Uh, I too went through the same thing. It took me six years to get over the fact that, man, I'm not to play football, or six years to figure out, man, my purpose in life. Right. You feel me? Like all I thought about my purpose was to play football. Right. Football, football, football. Right. Played on football and play. Man, we played all tackle. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. Football. You find anything to play tackle football with, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so I just, I just, I just want, I just want to do it big. And um, and I forgot my part. Just talking about football, man. You say you want to do it big, man. Sorry, man. That's a brain injury. You know, it, it happened. You good? You good? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, um, yeah. The injury, the injury from the car happened. Um, I was in a coma to waking up to, damn, to, to realizing that um, I'm a San Diego Charger, I'm an NFL player now. So I didn't get, you know, um, out of the hospital until um, July. I couldn't go up to uh, San Diego until August or September. I was wondering, no, I wanted the August sign. Came back home, then I had to go in September. Mm-hmm. I was there, so they signed me on a rehab contract. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the rehab contract was just to make me feel appreciated. Right. Feel it like, okay, you did this, but you you know you're not gonna play football again. I didn't know that. Right, <laughs> right. But that's that's what that that's how the system does it. You know. They, they they use words that that we don't know of, you know. They use these words and and we sit and we think we know them, but we really don't, because only they know. Right. They know how to trick us. Right. That's why we gotta educate ourselves, and mm-hmm. uh, I, I'm still on that point. I gotta educate myself. You right. Know, I'm still learning too. As a 34 year old man, I'm still learning. Right. I still. Up, you know, I, I still do, you know, ignorant things that I shouldn't be doing, you know, being playful. You know, uh, I, I know that I shouldn't be doing it, but at, at, at the time, it's just, just be, you know, 
I get bored. <laughs> you yeah. just do it. Yeah. And and that's that you know me, EJ. That's mm-hmm. how I've been all my life. If right. I'm bored, I'm just gonna like probably do something stupid. Mm-hmm. Okay. But with that with that with that going on, with that being said, um um I, I just want I just want the young men to really know what they want and um and, and be serious about it because nowadays at LSU, you know, most of the kids there they just wanna um they just wanna be yeah, holiday. You know, mm-hmm. they wanna fan love. They want Yeah, to, social they media want love. To, yeah, exactly. They want to hear up and go to. They want to get that blue check. They want to hear up go to the league. Man, the league don't want. Man, yo. <laughs> <laughs> man, it, it's hard to get into the league, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah, it, yeah. So what? So the thing is, like going through your journey. What type of advice would you give a young kid coming out of high school? looking forward to going to college and have that dream of going to the league what type of advice would you give it you could give it to them raw real because you've been through it all yes i have been through it all you're right i've been through it all man i'm just I'm, man don't give up don't give up man yo if, if it's hard for you right now i just explained to you on the last segment um before we hung up um my buddy Beck told me he said man you're going down the righteous road so right. that's why so shaky. So don't give up. If I tell y'all guys something, man, don't give up. If I need to drop something on you, that what EJ doing. He gonna drop some gems on you, you know, them yeah. jewels on. You. I'm just gonna tell you, man, don't give up, man. Um, write down. If even if you don't write down, man, just I guess put it in your phone or something, man. Just know what you want to do. And um, uh, you 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 gotta be serious with it you gotta you gotta know you want this mm-hmm. you, you gotta know like okay i'm gonna play football i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna go try and go to lsu i know it's not gonna be easy i know i'm not gonna be able to start right away i know it, 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 some kind of money boost club gonna have where i'm not gonna be able to play because some sorry person gonna be able to play before me to boost the money right you, you get what i'm saying yeah <laughs> right, right. Because of that. Right. I, I know I'm better than you. I know I am. We know we are. We know. Mm. So you beat them at their game. Mm. Beat them at their game. Man, be smart. Right. Be smart. Be educated. Educate yourself. Knowing all the all the different terms. And, and, and this is... This is one way for me, man. Like I learn by going through things. When I go through a situation, man, it's like, dang, I, I can't do that no more. Mm-hmm. I don't like yeah. how I'm that. And uh, right now, you know, I, I go through some things right now and I'm like, man, I don't do that no more. Mm-hmm. Can't do that no more. You know, last time, you know, you seen me having like, you know, little dreads yeah. and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. I cut the dreads off. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I wanted to be more professional, but then once I tried to be more professional, I still had people remembering who I was with the dreads. Right. So they they still trying to attack that part of me, mm-hmm. and I, I never let that part of me go. So I'm still trying to fuss back with them. I'm trying to you know yeah. get my cross back at them, and they're just gonna keep going. You know why? Why? I didn't educate myself. Mm. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. That's good, man. I love it. I love it, man. The kids need to hear it. All right. So a couple things I want to ask you. What's your your favorite moment at LSU? I know we we did talk about the catch, but anything outside of that, and favorite moment at Miami Central and how Miami Central, that mindset helped you at LSU. Okay. Uh okay. Favorite moment at LSU. Man, we had a class project. <laughs> okay. We was uh we had to um, do some kind of record, make a commercial. And um this this year you can find this um this this year on YouTube. Um it was me and Charles Scott and Keenan Williams. We started making a uh love like an interview saying that hey, 
what we gonna do next year. Are we going back to um, championship or whatever? So we were just, I was on that scene. I can feel it falling <laughs> tonight. How you doing? It's your boy DJ Quick. I got my boy Dirty Bird. Here's the talk guy. Show you a little something, something. Yeah, this this is this is Natalie. She's she's in charge of all the finances and everything. Yeah. Getting she the money right. All the money right. Yeah, all the money. Get all the money. Right. Okay, DJ so quick. give me your accounts and then yeah. Okay. We got you. Billy, we call it. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh Lord. Oh, a little high on the back end. A little high. A little high. I've been waiting. Get up. Oh. Oh, oh, cut, cut, cut. Oh, Lord. Cut, cut, cut. Hello. Oh, Lord. So I'm on that thing, dude. And so... <laughs> right. Hey, I kid you not. You, you go ahead and you, uh, you, you watch that day, you're going to die laughing. <laughs> and, 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 and Charles Scott acted like he's DJ, and it, it, it's funny. And that's one of my favorite moments. But if we were talking about on the football field, I would have to say um, Auburn game because, man, that game that really woke Bird up, woke mm -hmm. his woke his name up. Mm -hmm. You know, woke, 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 it, it opened a lot of eyes, and. Um, and a lot of eyes are still open now. They're just closed right now because of my stubbornness. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, because right. I'm because of me being stubborn, I can't see the doors is open. Yeah. So God, so so young men, all I want to tell y'all is keep your eyes open. Open. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Do sure. not do not close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Keep my eyes open, man. Yeah. You gonna have to go through some hiccups. Everything is not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna sit here and gonna tell you I got the perfect life. I'm this. I'm that. No, man. I, I went through the struggle. You know, like I, 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 I. One thing about it, I never gave up. That's dope. You can't. You can't. You gotta keep I going. Never gave up, man. I had I, coming up, man. I, like I never played football to my 12th grade year of high school, guys. 12th grade year of high school, to to my till I was a senior. That's when I balled out. Okay, I had a whole, I had a many struggles. You know, all through life until well, still I struggle all through life. But it don't matter because with every struggle comes success. Right. Because if you don't stop, if yep. you keep going. You're gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly, that's all of the juice I'm dropping for on the day. That's what's up. Well, look, okay, so we can we can wrap it up I, with my little wrap up. You gonna go oh, wait, you, wait, wait. Go ahead, go ahead. Central, oh yeah, yeah, central, 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 central. Go ahead. Hey, hey man, my, my I had fun at Central, man. Uh -huh. The best moment I had was bombing Ken Phillips. Oh, I <laughs> he was well, at Car he was two. at Carroll City, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, actually, I had two. I uh -huh. had one is on Miami Beach. Uh huh. Um, EJ Biggers tried to run me down. I burnt them on the sideline. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then the other one was Carroll City game uh -huh. against against Kenny Phillips and Ricky Jean Francois. Uh huh. On um, Ricky Jean, Jean Frank, <clears throat> Ricky Jean. Intercept my ball. Oh, he you remember this picture? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish your story. <laughs> That's still, hey, I'm just like it right now, huh? <laughs> That's you always being crazy, man. <laughs> Oh, oh but go ahead, go ahead. You're talking about uh, Kenny Phillips wow. and those guys, man. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kenny Phillips, man. I, that they game, the uh, Dino, mm -hmm. man, Dino, Dino Red. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dino's on the same page. I don't know how. Man, I was on. Um, I was running the go route, and um, Dino told me to keep it to the outside. Mm -hmm. You know, Kenny Phillips right there. So what I did was I. Kind of like I was gonna go to the outside and I came back in on the post. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Dino just mm -hmm. 
Ran up under that thing. I'm like, oh, okay, well, we still lost, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, yeah. He didn't want to throw the ball no more. He wanted to keep trying to run the ball. Oh, and when he saw him, man. Oh, yeah. Ball. Yeah, yeah. Coach Song. I remember Coach Song, this yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's all. That, that was it right now. That's what's up, man. So how, how did that mindset at Central, even though you did play that one year, you, you had a chance to be around us during track and everything, and it was still the same mindset. And, you know, we took it serious. We took we wanted to win everything. So how did that mindset help you at LSU? Um, That mindset helped me at LSU. It ain't just helped me at LSU. Because remember, I went to JUCO first. Yep, yep. And when I went to JUCO, that was 05 or 06. 05, I graduated high school. So mm-hmm. it's like I went straight to, I went straight into college. Right. Mom, that was ready, right? Mm-hmm. What, 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 what Central did to me, they pushed me to keep on getting better. Right. I stopped at, at, at level one because you just get into it. Mm-hmm. What I mean by you just get into it, this is your first season. This is your first day or whatever like that you know yeah you know, whatever you're doing it may be the first time you're doing it you know don't just stop because you don't know you know what to do next don't worry about what's next do what's now you get what i'm saying right. so what was now was man yo i want to play some football so i got my hair right i stopped playing as much i was still was playing mm. um i was just I, I went to JUCO and and and, and, and uh, one day, you know, they went around with BB guns and and was acting like they were robbing, you know, some kids and and just so happened, I told myself, man, no, nah, I don't want to go. The night before we went, didn't get caught. They want to go another night. Next night, I'm like, man, no, nah, man, I'm good. They got caught. They got in trouble. Don't be. If you get if, if you get away with it one time, man, just stop. Worry about trying to better yourself. All right. Worry about a way you can get you can get better. Right. Like I tell all my clients, man. After I train them, man. After I train you this hour in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I train this hour in two minutes. What do you do? See, because most of them, I, I, I call them. Yeah. Hey, yo, what you doing, man? You did some push up? Oh, man. You ate some peanut butter sandwiches, man? Because he's real little. He real skinny. Yeah. So, I'm not going to tell you to go lift weights right now. No. Mm-hmm. That's going to take you down. That's going to take you down. Do you some push ups right now? Sit up. Ow. Bulk up a little bit. Right. Then you hear about the dog on weight room. Get all these techniques down that I'm trying to teach you. You know, learn how to do a proper bench press. Learn how to do a proper squat. Learn how to go around a cone. Learn right. how to follow directions. To have discipline. If coach say start at this cone and end at that cone, in between the cone, you gonna do that. Right. Don't do nothing else. These are the things that I'm trying to instill into the, the, the young generation. Because, gotcha. because the generation that, that's out the balling now are soft. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Trust me, I know. I see it. I mean I'm in the same boat as you, boss. I see it. <laughs> yeah, soft. And it's like I can't even raise my raise my voice at them. You feel what I'm saying? So Yeah. If that is crazy. Um, drinking my coffee, man. Like <laughs> bird, man. All right, bird. You gonna we gonna play the little fill in the blank so we can wrap it up, man. So you can go about your day, man. And I appreciate uh, you. Like I said, I appreciate you coming on and sharing your story, man. It was definitely a unique story that kids need to hear. They need to hear the truth. These student athletes need to hear the truth. Their parents need to hear the truth because you go away and you leave and nobody know what's really going on with us, dog. Straight up. They don't know. They don't know. Like, I'm still up here in uh, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. You know, they they don't know. They don't know, but go ahead. 
Yeah. All right, so go ahead and fill in the blank. So to Bird, the Bird, confidence is what? Key. Mm -hmm. Key. It's on. It's, it's key. Confidence is key. Cause without confidence, you ain't, you you really ain't got nothing, man. You have no integrity. You you're not gonna. If you don't have no confidence, you're gonna stop. You're not gonna right. keep going. Basically. Right. right. Yeah. Mm. All right. So what about attitude? Is what to bird. <laughs> <laughs> attitude it's a joke to Bert because uh, uh, Bert is straight playful don't take nothing serious mm -hmm. I need to fix that uh -huh. about uh -huh. I'm trying to fix that about me right now got you, got you. More serious and take more take you know take initiative to a lot of you know manly things that I need to be doing uh -huh. I do, do most of the manly things that yeah. us people need to do yeah I still think I joke too much. So I take stuff joking. You love joke, joking. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> okay. Mindset is what the bird? Mindset is success. Mm -hmm. The okay. reason why, the reason why I say that, right? Uh huh. To have a successful mindset. To have a no, to have a mindset that's successful, you have to be thinking big. You have to be thinking, okay, if I play wide receiver, man, I'm gonna be the number one wide receiver in this county. Right. Or, right. Or or, or, or or this 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 class. Right. And that trickles all the way back down to having confidence. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Right. And and that also trickles back up to being a jokester. <laughs> okay, you're taking everything as a joke because you're not taking all this stuff that everybody's throwing at you so seriously. Mm -hmm. But they taking it seriously because they trying to bash you like that. You know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. but, 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 but you take it as a joke. You may be wrong, but you mm -hmm. know, take it as a joke. That that's just how I do. It. Gotcha. Take the joke. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so the last one, you can just fill in the blank. So Demetrius Bird is who? Moving forward. A legend. Ah! Ooh, right there. That's, that's right Finish. there. Finish right there. And boom, like I said, we all go through that roller coaster in life. Why not have a God to elevate your mindset? Jim, out. Get him, Bird. Bird game. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Hey, thank you.